Hi, hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to bind a column or a row in Google Sheets into one table. Uh, actually, it's just as simple as, uh, for example, copy pasting this row into here and then this row uh, or this column into here. Just binding that one. But actually, you can do it by a formula or a function. Uh, for a complex data, for a complex array, array this fa uh, this method is very useful, especially when you do import range or when you do a VLOOKUP on certain points, certain data, not all of the array, not all of your database. So I will use this simple of table that I want to bind, for example, this A column and then the C column. How to doing that? You just open uh, or you just click another cell and then so when you already choose the cell you want to insert or to bind the columns you just put the equal and then the curly brackets or the parentheses or anything you you mention it but anything so uh, you drag the column for example the AA and then put the semicolon sorry the comma and then input the C column. Now it will be inputted as two column bind uh, horizontally. So what if I want to bind it vertically, which is the the A column on the upper and then the C column on the on the bottom? Do, how to doing that? You have to equal. Open the curly bracket, brackets, and then you drag the data, the column. To be note that you, uh, if you put this AA, which means all the AA, including the empty ca the empty cell, will be included. So I drag only A1 to the A9, and then the difference is you put the semicolon, and then input the C1 to the C9. The semicolon operator here to separate or to to operate this bind function by vertically. I hit enter, and then obviously now these two column will be bind uh, vertically. See the number and then the SKU item. Okay, I will put another example. For example, uh, I want to find a row the header row and then the last the last data on this table uh, I will hide this uh, example so I put equal curly bracket drag the a1 to the c1 and then semicolon sorry the a9 to the c9 close the curly bracket equal now it returns like this also you can Put another data. See, it's very cool. Okay, uh, this function is very. Uh, I repeat that this function is very useful for you who have a huge of database, a huge of array, so you can combine or you can bind only the data you want to extract, the data you want to processing it. It makes your processor, it makes your works is uh, more tidy or more uh, leaner than before. Okay, I hope it's helpful for you. If it is, please subscribe our channel. And then if you have any questions regarding this tutorial or any tutorial you want to ask me, please put on the comment below. Thank you. Bye.